At a meeting with his congressional staff, President Carter focuses on windfall profits. We've got a good bill out of the House. We get the best bill we can out of the Finance Committee, fight it out to the last vote on the floor, take our case to the public. And in the final analysis, I believe that we will have a good windfall profits tax because that's the basis of all we're trying to do in energy, and we've got to solve the energy problems. He's fighting hard for our energy security, and he's going to win. A solid man in a sensitive job. In the White House Oval Office, the president reflects on the true nature of his job. Harry Truman said, the buck stops here. The most difficult decisions that arise in our country, the most difficult ones come to the president. And knowledge, interrelationships, and experience are key to making the right decisions that affect so many people. He has the knowledge and the experience. He is a solid man in a sensitive job. President Jimmy Carter has made a strong effort not to become isolated in the White House. My wife and I were talking today yeah. at lunch about you being up there. Yeah, I had a nice little visit with her this morning. And I told her that sitting around your living room with a group of farmers from Iowa, I learned more than I would meeting with two days' worth of uh, so-called agricultural experts. <laughs> in moments like this, the president has come to know the people of this country very well. He's a solid man in a sensitive job. The White House is today the pivot point of some of the most important decisions in the world. It is also a home. I don't think there's any way that you can separate the responsibilities of a husband and a father and a, and a basic human being from that of being a president. What I do in the White House is to maintain a good family life, which I consider to be crucial to being a good president. Husband, father, president. He's done these three jobs with distinction. There is today a whole new tradition in the American vice presidency. There are 1.3 million more people at work today than the day you were sworn in in that state alone. Just in California? Just in California when I was there. There's never before been a partnership between a president and a vice president to equal what I have with Walter Mondale. He's thoroughly familiar with the responsibilities that I have. He shares those responsibilities in the finest sense of the word. Carter and Mondale, a team.
a White House meeting, President Carter focuses on America's health. We know from a recent Harvard study that WIC saves up to 60% in future medical costs. All right, this is the sort of pro these are the sort of programs that we really need and the basic human services that need to be delivered. I might say that, that our comprehensive nationwide health program that's been presented to the Congress I think has an excellent chance to, uh, to win congressional approval after 30 years of waiting. Uh, Jim Coleman, who was one of the authors of the Kennedy Coleman bill, was in Florida recently explaining to uh, retired people and to elderly people how this is a superior program for health care. It has a, a special emphasis on prevention, on holding down the cost of health care, and as you know, takes care of pregnant women and infant children as a top priority. And I believe that the president is fighting for the right kind of health care for everybody. A solid man in a sensitive job. At a White House briefing, the president makes an emphatic point. My number one responsibility is to defend this country, to maintain its security. And, and I put the, a strong defense at the top of my priority list, and it's going to be maintained that way. Thank you. He has fought for a strong defense, for reform of the bureaucracy, for peace in the Middle East, and for our energy security. I hope you'll go home and help me now. The president, he's fighting for all of us. My own inclination is to, is to get the nose of the federal government out of local affairs and out of state affairs whenever they can be handled in a state or in a community. He used to be a full-time farmer. He does a different kind of work today, but it's still work. Long hours of hard work. I'll make a decision on it today. His decisions reach out to touch the lives of millions. In the course of any day, he focuses on every vital issue facing the nation. Our comprehensive nationwide health program that's been presented to the Congress. For us to depart from those two basic documents is a serious mistake. My number one responsibility is to defend this country, to maintain its security. It's nothing at all like being alone in a Georgia field, driving a tractor for 10 hours in the hot sun. Yet no other candidate can match his work experience or his life experience. President Carter, a solid man in a sensitive job.